hello everyone and very warm welcome to your channel in this video we are going to introduce lotus which is a new ai model that excels at predicting 3d geometry from images we are going to install this model locally and then we will see how it does the depth estimation of the images lotus uses a technique called diffusion which is typically used to generate images but they have adapted it to work better for geometry prediction this model achieves top results in two important tasks first estimation depth and secondly surface normal without requiring much training data before we proceed further let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website plus a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so do check them out Previous methods using diffusion for geometry predictions had some flaws. They were based on image generation techniques which are not that ideal for predicting geometry. These researchers have analyzed these flaws and created a new approach. Their Lotus model predicts geometry directly, avoiding unnecessary complexity and improving performance. Lotus has shown several advantages. It's faster and more accurate than other diffusion-based methods. Their new detail preserver strategy ensures fine-grained predictions. Lotus doesn't require large amounts of training data or complex models to achieve excellent results. In practice, Lotus enables various applications such as 3D construction from single or multiple images and joint estimation of depth and surface normals. Its efficiency and quality make it a valuable tool for many real-world use cases. So let's try to get this thing installed and then we will see how it works. For this one, I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM and this would require around 80 GB of VRAM to work decently and this is all courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's get clone the repo of this Lotus and I will drop the link to it in video description where you can also follow through. Second up, let's create a Conda environment, which is just a virtual package manager for Python, keeps everything separate from your local system. So let's wait for it to get installed and I'm installing it with Python 3.10. That is also done and it is activated. Next up, let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo and this is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait. And everything is installed now. So that completes installation of Lotus. Let's clear the screen. And now let's launch the Gradio demo. Let me run this and I'm using it with the depth mode. And you can see that now the demo is running on my local host at port 7860. So let me open it in the browser. And the Lotus has been launched in our local system as a Gradio demo where you can upload the images or you could just select any of the sample images provided and then you can predict the depth here. So as soon as you select your images from here, it is going to select it like this or this and then you click on this predict depth option or button. And you can see that now it is predicting the depth on the right hand side. So let's wait for it to finish. And there you go, it has generated the depth estimation of this image on the left hand side. When we say, by the way, depth estimation or predicting a depth, this means estimating the distance of each pixel from the camera. So this primarily creates a 2D representation of the 3D scene where each pixel value corresponds to its depth value. And the resulting image on the right hand side is called as depth map. So think of it like pixels close to the camera have low depth value, pixels far from the camera have high depth value. So for example, if I just use this, you see how good is that? So this is the depth of this image from the camera. Similarly, look at this one. There you go. How good is that? Now the top one is generative. The bottom one is discriminative. So generated uh, means that this has been generated by the diffusion based model. It's a model's estimate of depth values for each pixel and generative output is 
uh, typically a continuous valued image whereas the bottom one is a discriminative this is an additional output that help refine the predictive depth map and this is usually a probability map or a feature map it provides additional information to improve the accuracy of depth prediction so if you closely look it is a bit more vivid and vibrant now similarly if i just scroll down select this soccer goal and then click on predict depth again so let's wait for it there you go it was fairly quick and let me show you that very nice how good is that let's check the discriminative one there you have your discriminative one very nice and while we run it let me also give you a rough estimate of vram used so you at the you see at the moment i'll just run it again so at the moment we are using just over 10 gig of vram for this so make sure that you have that much vram available on your gpu in their repo they said that it is going to work only on 80 gpu vram maybe they were meant training or something like that but you see uh, regardless of that it is of very very good quality i have covered a lot of depth estimation uh, models but i think this one is one of the best i must say and this is quite useful in real world scenarios like 3d reconstruction uh, augmented reality autonomous vehicles especially robotics object detection and segmentation and the list goes on and on for the use cases of this sort of stuff now i haven't tried it out yet but let's try it together it can even predict the depth of the video so you see if you click on video depth this is a video so i'm just going to let it run the video you can see that is it is just a cyclist going through um, a city so let's stop it and then click on predict depth let's see how long does it take and maybe it will be fun to check the vram here for the video it's the same because i think the whole model is loaded onto our gpu so let's wait for it to generate something and we will check it out and there you go it has generated this looks really cool so i'll also play this one and then you can check out both of these together very nice you see so this is the utility of it where it the uh, distance of this object can be uh, taken out and then this can be used in a lot of stuff autonomous vehicles especially and the object detection and that sort of stuff oh, i hope that this gives you a very good idea as what exactly this model is doing and i think this is quite good in terms of high quality dense prediction the lotus one You can also select images from your local system like i have done this uh, cathedral one which is one of the beautiful cathedral in vienna austria the saint stephen's one and you see how good that looks in terms of depth estimation amazing stuff and similarly the discriminative one there you go cool let's try out another one i'm just going to cancel it upload click on upload image and then maybe let's grab this komodo dragon click on predictive depth let's see what it generates here it is fairly quick once it's loaded onto gpu you see how good is that very fast there you go extremely high quality and really it is very very accurate as you can see i'm just rotating it even just keep an eye on the tongue maybe you will see and then let's look at a discriminative one real good stuff real good stuff okay let's try out one final one and i'm just going to select this first one to see how it does with the human figures let's wait for it to finish running i'm just letting it run so that you would see the speed you see it is just few seconds two three seconds there you go so this is it can do the depth estimations of humans easily very very correct let's check out this one and even the text one too of course there you go 
great stuff very nice so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think about it before i let you go let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query so that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching